I love that we've become such great friends and I kind of grow with this family now. And I'm so excited for that relationship that I know that we're going to have for a long time. For me, with any genre that I'm doing, it's always about creating a relationship. For me, it's more important to be involved in my community and make a great relationship with the client that I have right now so that they're referring me to other people or they're going to come back to me. I do a little bit of Facebook um, ads and marketing, maybe get you know one or two out of there that I love. Like they'll say, oh, I'm interested. And I go, great. Can I have your number and when's a good time to call you? So I call them and I try and make that relationship with them before I give them a price, before they see anything else about the ad. I got two or three really good clients out of that that I know that it's going to be a great life cycle. Like we had one where they announced that they were pregnant at their um, holiday photo shoot. So now I'm going to do their maternity pictures. I'm going to do their newborn pictures. So And we created a great relationship. We're friends. We text. She's like, what do you think about this dress? What do you think about this? So that's kind of where my marketing is. I don't really focus so much on like, Google ads or what's my SEO, what's all that stuff. Really where I'm investing is trying to make relationships with people in my community and the clients that I have now. Once I get them on the phone, I have a big sheet and my goal is to actually have them talk 70% of the time and me only 30 and just me asking them questions. So it's tons and tons of questions. And then we kind of make a relationship and it's when we get to the end and we talk about prices, no one's yelling at me for a price. It's, Either, yes, I'm into it 100%, this is what I want, or they're like, oh my gosh, Katrina, that's really out of my budget, but like, maybe could we do that in the fall or the spring? Right now, that's not really what I'm looking for. I just want pictures for my Christmas card because my mom will yell at me if I don't send out Christmas pictures, <laughs> and that's okay. But it's a lot of them talking and we create this relationship, so I'm asking all of the questions that I could possibly do so that we have this great relationship, and then I know exactly what I'm charging them. There's no set price, it's what what they need. I'm going to custom, you know, the price and what we're doing for them um, at that moment. And then I kind of, we book them, we see, you know, I try and make it like a month out so that I can have time before that to either I go to their house or we're zooming or, you know, my town is little. So it's like we're running into each other or they're stopping in. Um, My studio is inside of my soap shop. So sometimes they're coming in then and it's like, oh, you know, I saw this picture and I wanted to stop by. What do you think about this? So I try to make sure there's lots of points and interaction before their actual shoot. So we actually end up becoming really good friends. Like my clients yesterday came in for their reveal and they want to take us out to dinner. I think we now have uh, two new best friends, (laughs) but it's making sure that we have that relationship. Consultations, like I said, it could be something online. Maybe they're not in state games. Maybe they're not in our town. Or maybe they're just like, listen, I don't want you coming to my house. I have too too much going on. And that's okay. We can respect that too. Um, But I love if I can get into their house because now I can take pictures of their walls. So when I do their reveal, I can say like, hey, you know, we saw that wall and I snapped a quick picture. Look how this would look. And then I can have a bigger sale by selling them wall art. So it's kind of, if I don't really get my foot in the door, then it's kind of a little bit harder to sell that wall art because they're going to leave the reveal and be like, well, I have to measure or I don't know. Um, so it's easier if I could get in there, get that picture and kind of show them what I can do. Normally I would say, you know, there's a, a fee for the time and talent of the photographer and to like kind of hold your spot. And then I would also include a credit for them to use if they're ordering an appointment. At Christmas time, I do a session fee. It's our special, it's 99, but nothing's included. But that's kind of telling them that people are so used to minis at Christmas time. I tell them, listen, you get the studio all day long for 99. We give you a pretty metal print, but nothing's included. That, that 99 is just booking you for the day and then you're ordering session. You'll get the metal print with whatever you order. Flip side, when it's not Christmas, if I know them, we've already kind of created a relationship. Sometimes I'm like, hey, just do a $100 deposit and we'll credit you at your session. Sometimes if it's something like elaborate, like they want to do in the studio, they want to do like a multiple shoot, then yeah, again, we're going to do a higher session fee. I don't require a full payment because we have no idea what their payment's going to be because it's IPS. So it's we're going to do something to hold you, book you, depending on what we're doing. Like, are we going on someone's boat? Are we going to the beach? What, what are we doing? Are you coming to my studio? Is it a weekend? Am I traveling? That kind of thing. We decide there on the phone and I say, does that work for you? Is that good? How would you like to pay? Like, and that's the end of it and it's, we're good to go. 
I am nervous. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm praying. Please let this day go smooth. Please let this baby be happy. I'm prepping mom. I'm like, make sure you have extra bottles. We need baby to be milk drunk. I'm like, <laughs> bring everything. There's a checklist. And then in the studio, I'm trying to set up as much as possible. We never know how baby's gonna be. So I do table posing, and then I also do like the prop posing. So there's like the bucket, the cute little beds, all that stuff. So I try to do like three or four sets already set up on the floor with like the petite backdrop and like a bucket or a basket or the little beds, whatever. So we try to do three or four of those, whatever mom's color themes were. I try to have all of that set up, try to have headbands, everything, all there ready. And then for my posing table, it's actually a card table. Um, and I put PVC pipes on it. So it kind of like goes up behind the posing table and then I flip all my um, layers. So whatever their color theme is and whatever I kind of have planned out on my sheet, I try to make it in those layers. So like purple, pink, green, blue, like stacked up on top of each other. So I can literally, when we're done with that color, fling it off, throw it over the top, and then we're on to the next color. So I just try to prep as much as I can and I try to keep it like very relaxed. I'm just explaining everything to her so there's no confusion or I don't want her to be worried or nervous because I feel like the baby feels that too. So I tell them like, listen, if baby's not comfortable on the posing table with like the naked like kind of half wrap, um, I said, we'll wrap them like a little burrito and they'll be happy and we'll just do lots of bucket poses and bed poses and they'll be happy. Going back to creating a relationship with the parents, when she came in for her maternity, I'm like, what do you miss the most? And she's like, you can't have certain things. She's like, I can't wait to have sushi and wine. So when I'm doing maternity, I'm trying to see like, what are they missing? What do they love? So when she came, I was like, listen, when we're done with newborn, I said, we'll break. So we ordered sushi, we had sushi delivered. But like I said, I tried to make mom really comfortable because she was nervous and even with like here's sushi here's wine like I'm showing you everything I'm doing like don't worry it's okay like she must have said sorry like a hundred times the baby was like puking and pooping I'm like it's all good it's okay yes I'm sweating and dying and nervous underneath but everybody had a great time everybody was happy so I have a big 84 PLM got the black cover and the white diffuser in the front um, but I actually use it for everything I use it for my maternity I use it for my portrait my laptop is a Microsoft uh, Surface Pro and it's the glass screen. So it, the images are really, really nice on the glass screen. And then I show them on my computer and then I project it up on the TV. The TV is calibrated, but like any TV, it's just not the same thing. So I say it's up on there. It's just so that everybody can be comfortable on the couch and see them up on the screen. But like I said, the pictures and the colors are gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be even better later. So the sweet number I feel like is kind of like 35, 40. If I like, if I know they're all great ones and I know that that's going to be a bigger package client, I'll be like, listen, I know that these five are the same, but I wanted to include them because which one do you like better? Like, and then I'll show like three images and I'll be like, I feel like that's a magic number two when you show three at a time. Cause it's like, well, I like the first and the third. First, if you show two at a time, it's like, well, I only like that one. So you like, you lose one faster and faster. So I, I feel, I find like little tricks here and there throughout it. Um, but like I said, I, I kind of pull it down. I try not to make it too overwhelming. My husband was an amazing support and he was a huge influence on opening the studio. I would have never, ever, ever done that. He was like, you can do this. And I'm like, oh, I can't. there's no way. How am I going to pay the rent? Or how are we going to, you know, put Gianna in um, my first daughter? How are we going to put her in school? Like we are our own worst enemies and i feel like in the beginning i was like i can't do this i can't do this and i can't it, it was just somebody else had to tell me and then i think once i had that confidence it's like now there's no stopping me it's like i'm a rocket like i want to go 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 i think if you're thinking about doing newborn photography find a really great mentor i do newborn retreats and those are amazing because that's constant education that's making sure you're doing the right safety with a baby the right poses all that stuff so that's separate too like those aren't as expensive. Like find a really great, I think there's the Milky Way retreat. Um, I think it's like 300 bucks, but it's an amazing retreat. It's the top photographers in the country. And I think there's even some from the UK. So I think, yeah, just have confidence in yourself. Find a really good mentor. Get lots of education. Find a really good tribe to be in. Try to stay away from some of those stupid Facebook groups where people are just kind of like knocking each other down or telling you things that really aren't important. Try and block out all that negativity, find good groups and good photographers.